The cornfields of Iowa aren't exactly Silicon Valley, but you're about to see how one company in the heart of the Midwest is using state-of-the-art software technology to grow its business. This is Denver, Iowa, population 1700, where Main Street is this long and elevators only go up one floor. So this is the biggest elevator in Denver, Iowa? Yep, there are six elevators in town and this is by far the biggest and the best. Even though Denver, Iowa has no buildings to speak of, it builds some of the most expensive custom-made elevators in the world. People don't really think of Denver, Iowa as the skyscraper capital of the U.S., is it? No, not at all. In fact, this is the tallest building in town. To my knowledge, yeah. the water tower is taller. Yeah, the water tower. The water tower. Jeff Schumacher is the CFO of Schumacher Elevators. He knows all the ups and downs of this company, which his great-grandfather started back in 1936. Last year, while other companies were struggling to stay in the black, Schumacher made a lot of green, a whopping $40 million in sales and services, not bad considering they didn't have to hand out a single pink slip. Times have really slowed down this past year, but we've sort of shifted our focus from new elevators to uh, modernizing and upgrading existing elevators. That, Jeff says, is thanks in part to a special software system from SAP. We didn't have the ability to keep up with customer demand. We didn't have the ability to get all the steel here, all the parts that go into an elevator here at the right time because we were doing everything manually. It keeps us more organized and actually we've more than doubled in sales and cut our raw materials inventory at the same time by 40%. We went on a personal tour of the plant and even got a peek at their special high-tech safe. So this is where you keep all of your spare parts? A lot of them, yes. We keep them uh, in this storage system. And how many parts go into making one elevator? Oh, well, we stock close to 10,000 parts. And how do you keep track? Do you even remember where they go? Well, that's a big part of the reason why we had to buy a new computer system that tracked all of that for us and why we selected SAP. How many people can fit in an elevator like this? Well, it's rated at uh, 900 pound capacity, so probably five, six, seven people. Really? Really. Can we check that out? Sure. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna bring our crew here. Why don't you guys come in for a second? Oh yeah, there's totally a lot of room here. Just before we left, I got a lesson in elevator making 101. We're gonna make an elevator together? We're gonna make a part. connecting this thing to this thing. Yep, two parts together. But you gotta put this down first. This down first. Yep. I'm pulling the trigger. Yep. And wow, it, that is cool. I think you can stop. <laughs> you just drew the part. <laughs> that unfortunate piece of metal, thankfully, never made it into any of Schumacher's products. But it did go into their SAP tracking system where every piece of scrap is carefully accounted for without the need for more personnel. Speaking of IT, where is your IT department? Uh, actually, right here, but uh, believe it or not, he is out sick today. Your whole IT department is sick? Yes. <laughs> so there you have it. Rising profits for an elevator firm that uses SAP software and believes the sky, or the top floor, is the limit. Itai Hod for SAP TV, Denver, Iowa.